All right, all right. Well, I'm back on this Cubex uh, Duo again. I thought I was going to put it a uh, put it away for a little while and decide what I'm going to do with this, but then I I got some feedback. It was a comment from one of the viewers, and uh, and he brought to my attention that when this came out, of course, it is an old machine. You know, I know that, um, and I've been trying. You know, my baseline for uh, Printing speed is you know 50 to 60 at least right uh, millimeters per second, and and I went down uh, when I was trying to get rid of the ghosting on this, and one of the methods of doing that was to slow down uh, the print speed, and so I cut it in half. So I was uh, I was going at 25 millimeters per second right, and it was still no change. It's still you know nothing better, and well this guy. Uh, he brought it to my attention that when this came out uh, that they were really made to go at 15 millimeters per second max and the one he uses um, he prints off at 10 millimeters per second and gets good prints. I'm like wow you know that was a mind blower to me because you know I had no idea you know I, I, I failed to look at the at the past specs and uh, and I had no idea that it was meant for that slow speed like that or at that speed. I guess at the time it was that was probably normal, right? Um, and I did go and, and find an old manual for it, the Cubex Duo, and sure enough they're listing it at 15 millimeters per second. And that seems awfully slow, doesn't it? <laughs> and But it got my curiosity up so I, I whipped this thing back out and I am going to uh, I'm going to try to print off another uh, uh, cube and and see how it turns out. I'm going to do my my usual test files and uh, and I'll print it off. I, I guess I'll go down to 10 millimeters per second and uh, and see how that does. So this probably be a, a real quick video. I just wanted to give a heads up on what I'm doing. Because even if it does work, even if it does work um, at 10 millimeters per second, that's like, man, that is so slow. I'm not going to do it, you know. Um, oh, and the other thing, um, he was saying, you know, with all the plexiglass that's supposed to go around this whole box and all that stuff adds to the rigidity and does away with a lot of the uh, vibration and all that stuff. And it's like, well, I know that. Um, but when I got this, the only uh, acrylic pieces were it was on that that flat piece I had over here and here at the uh, down at the bottom. So the whole box there was no there was no cover there was it was lacking a lot of stuff right. Uh, and even if I wanted to put that back together, you know, one thing I'm not gonna, you know, I. That slow speed is just, you know, that that's old school. I mean, it's not a, not really acceptable um, to me anyway. And by the time if I try to build a little exoskeleton, you know, and a case and all that stuff, and, and try to uh, duplicate uh, the factory setup, it's like, man, that's a lot of effort. I mean, by that time, I could just start from scratch and do one, which is what I'm leaning towards doing, right? But first, I want to I want to see how this does at 10 millimeters per second. So I'll start. Uh, I'll stop gabbing on and on, and uh, and uh, let's set up a print and see how it looks. Yeah. So this print, I uh, I set it at 10 millimeters per second. I resliced it, put it on fine mode for 0.15 layer height, but man, look how slow that's going. So 10 millimeters per second when this came out. So if this thing's 10 to 15 years old, still that's kind of slow. Because I know I had, uh, remember way back, the printer bot? printer bot simple that's about 15 years old there's all the box of parts remember that 
Well, that was my very first printer right there, and uh, and I modified it because it. After a while, you know, with the with the wood, you know, shrinking and expanding or whatever, you know, from humidity, I guess, um, it was always off. But this one, that printer bought simple, I believe it was rated at uh, at 60 millimeters per second. And yeah, that was a good 15 years ago. So. Yeah, I think this one was just never really, never put out the the prints, the fine prints and fast prints, given that this was a premium priced uh, printer at the time, but oh well. Well, there's the results. And to tell you the truth, it's not that great. So the sides, they're not as... Uh, um, I guess lumpy <laughs> as it was before on the previous samples. But this one you can kind of see some... Uh, there's still some gaps. So it's not as smooth as I was hoping, but I mean it's printing out, but if that's you know what to expect, printing it off at 10 millimeters per second, that's yeah, I don't think so. Alright, well I guess that's I guess that's that. That's too bad. Um, I was really hoping to get some really good prints off of that, you know, considering knocking it all the way down to 10 millimeters per second and I'm still just getting subpar prints. It's printing but doesn't meet uh, modern standards, you know what I mean? Um, not speed wise, quality wise, anything. And that's too bad because this thing it's it, it sure looks like I don't know, it, I had my, my uh, I don't know. I had my hopes up, you know. Uh, this thing, it looks like it'd be. It's, it looks huge. It looks like it'd be, you know, pretty sturdy. You'd think it'd be doing a, a good job, but uh, you know, it's just, it's just not there. You know, it just doesn't meet uh, modern standards. So instead of uh, putting any money and any more time into it, I'm probably just going to strip it down and use it for parts. And because uh, I know I have a lot of good components that I put on there myself, you know, I replace this stuff. These 12 millimeter rods are are in good shape. I mean, there's there's all kinds of stuff, and so any more time and effort will be going towards another project, whether it be uh, uh, starting from scratch and designing my own up to you know who knows, but. Uh, but I guess that's it for this video, just real short and sweet, just wanted to see what it would do at 10 millimeters per second. So, well I guess that's it, but uh, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and watch for my next video.